All right, so for this video in JavaScript, we're gonna be talking about if statements. Now, why do we need if statements? Well, if statements are useful for like website logins. So if you have like a username and password and that username or password doesn't work, then you wanna give the user some feedback saying it doesn't exist or whatever. But if the username and password does work, you want the person to be able to log in and then say, hey, welcome, Mary, or something like that. Or if you're making a game and your hero's hit points gets to be zero or below, you want to show like a game over screen and hey, start over. Otherwise, you want them to just keep playing the game. So for if statements, when we write them, start out with the word if, and then we have parentheses, and then we have these curly braces. Now the part inside the parentheses is our condition. So this is the thing that we're gonna be checking to see if it's true or false. If it's true, we're gonna run all the code inside here. We don't have any code yet, but we will. If it's false, it's gonna go ahead and skip over all this code and just continue with our program down below. Just to see what it looks like, let's log something out inside if. And then we're gonna type in true here. Now normally we don't type in true, but just to kind of see you guys how this works. So inside if, so since this statement right here is true, then all the code between the curly braces will run. If this is false, it'll skip over all of it and it won't run. And it'll come down here. And it'll just run this code. So let's show you that it'll outside if. So now normally we wouldn't write true or false. We'd have some kind of variable and then we'd check to see if that variable is true or false or if the condition is true or false. So let's just make like a username and then let's just set it equal to something, Steve. And then we'll see if username equals Steve. So if it is Steve, we will say, welcome, Steve. So now we run it. And it doesn't work. So why doesn't this work? That's because we name these two different names. This one has a capital N, this one has a lowercase n. Let's change that. And then welcome Steve runs, and then the code will run, or continue to run after that, and the outside if will also run. If we see if it's Bob, we run it, and just the outside if runs. So that's how an if statement works. We check to see if something is true or false. There's other things we can check too to see if a number like is greater than or less than something else. And we'll do that some other time. Um, another thing to recognize is that we have curly braces here. And these curly braces are the body of the if statement. So if it's true, it's gonna run everything inside here. And also this indentation here. Commonly we put an indentation for all the information inside the curly braces to show that this stuff is inside the if statement. So there's a relationship here. It'll run without it being in there, without that space, but it'll just be less readable. In some programming languages, the indentation is very important. In JavaScript, it's not very important. It's just for readability like most programming languages. One last thing. Um, if we have Steve like this, a capital S, and this is a lowercase s, and we try to run this, it won't run because this is a different kind of Steve than this. One thing that we can do is we can check to see, or not check to see, but we can go ahead and make all of the words, in this case, just one word, in the username variable to lowercase. And we just do this dot to lowercase, and it'll take this word right here, and it'll make all these lowercase, and therefore it'll equal Steve in this case. So if we run that, now it runs welcome Steve. 